Alright. 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 <laughs> so the bill is uh, <laughs> it's like, what are we talking about? I mean that's the title, but I'm trying to give you the, the real name of it. But yeah, okay, so pretty much um a bunch of Disney employees started walking out of Walt Disney World because they were mad that their CEO didn't have a more public stance against the don't say gay bill. Um and so the bill pretty much says that students who are in kindergarten through third grade should learn about gender ident- identity um and pronouns and things like that and God so damn, they're great. They, they shouldn't or should learn they should like that should be inside the school curriculum that they learn about the intricacies of, of gender um and pretty much like everything we're talking about now on the social yeah, on yeah, the social yeah. norms um so he didn't make a public stance against that so then the disney employees got mad that he didn't was he wasn't verbalizing anything and so then they kind of had to walk out and started protesting and shit like that so that's making a bunch of noise right now so they're mad at him for not saying anything about the bill yeah like what side of the bill are they on they're like Sounds don't like don't it. don't teach don't teach the kids about gender studies in the fucking third grade, right? They want him to. Like they want they, they want they want to teach that inside school because and I guess the problem is, is that the bill itself doesn't say the word gay, but they kind of refer to LGBTQ in like these broad terms. And so a lot of people are saying, like, hey, that's kind of fucked up because you're you're trying not to say gay, but you're saying it in a in a weird way. You're just saying it with bigger words. With, with bigger words. So like a lot of people got mad about that. So I guess the uh. the the wording of the bill. Motherfucker, but, why are wait, you I'm, trying so to I'm teach? confused. So the bill is saying that kids third grade should be taught about all this bullshit, right? Gender all the woke study, shit. Yeah. Pronouns. And so the employees at Disney are mad that the head didn't speak out against the bill. That he didn't say anything publicly supporting the bill, pretty much. Oh, supporting. that he didn't support yeah. it. Or, okay, yeah, okay. Like, yeah, that that yeah. Like, yeah. like, get the fuck out of here. He didn't support it enough. Who the fuck yeah. is hiring it, it, All right, if they said he didn't speak out on it, I would have I would understand that more. Like, why didn't you go against this bill? Go against it, yeah. Like the, the aspect they're saying, of why didn't you, it? Why didn't you clap it up in the back? Bruh, that's wild. <sighs> Try to teach third graders about gender identity. So like, yeah, it started off with like the the Republican uh what is it? DeSantis? Bro, this shit is bullshit. I can't yeah, even lie. No, like, it this is, is this is wild to me. And I, I kinda like that he held his own. He was he, he said something about like um like you guys don't get paid to tell me what to do or something like it. it is that, that what he said? In 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 some regards, I, I would be firing motherfuckers like, and what I just don't lie, man. Just clock out forever, you know, like <laughs> yeah, clock out forever on God, cause it's bro. What happened to the days where people got hired for a job and then they felt like it was just their duty to show up and do their job and contribute <laughs> to the whole of the job, not to fucking tell your boss. What he needs to be speaking up about and what you're happy with, and we're gonna walk out, bro. You know how many people I fire? Cause you know how many people would be dying to work at yeah, Disney. Yeah, man, y'all y'all fucked it up. I hope y'all happy over this fucking bill that got nothing to do with me. I feel like the only way that it, it does affect them if it's like big people at Disney, you know, people who are like some producers, yeah, specific like stockholders. People. Yeah, some people that actually have leverage, but I feel like it's more of like. Maybe the newer woke kids that are working there. So like, all right, let's organize this shit. He ain't saying nothing. We support this, and he does not. So he's not gonna have an employee for a few days. Yeah, like, what if he just had, even what if he had a different opinion from y'all? What if he was like us and was like, yeah, I don't know why the fuck we we even talking about that shit in third grade. He's like, my daughter's in the third grade. I don't want to learn that. Yeah, oh like, god. What if he's just like, no, we have a difference of opinion. Like, is that not allowed anymore? Motherfuckers, like, no, nah, I'm not showing up to work today. I don't like my boss's st- or no, I don't like his non stance on something or non speaking out to, to to applaud a bill that's trying to be passed. Motherfuckers is weird, bro. You need to show up, do your job, or you could just kick rocks. What's the right, owner's so, name? Uh, Bob Chapic or Bob okay, Chapic. Okay. So like they were mad that DeSantis, which is the governor of Florida, like about his stance on the bill, and so they were talking to the guy because or uh, Bob Chapic because Walt Disney World was in Florida. So uh-huh. like that was the, that was the, kind of the connection there, and he later apologized for failing to be a stronger ally. Um, to the LGBTQ. So adding that Disney would pause all political donations in Florida and donate five million to the rights groups, the LGBTQ rights groups. So he kind of caped out. What know. do you? How do you feel about third graders learning about gender studies and pronouns? And- uh, how I feel? I think that shit is disgusting. I think. Shout out to uh, Neely Fuller. I think what you do is is have a list, right? Constructive um, acts, and then you know not the constructive or destructive, whatever, mm-hmm. right? <clears throat> or uh, have those two lists up there, right? And then take a bunch of third graders and, and kindergartens, right? Put them in an auditorium and show them gay sex. And, <laughs> like, teach them about, like, okay, you know, here's how a man and a woman has sex. Why? To have a baby, all right? That is a constructive thing that helps society in a way, 
Here's what you get out of it. Take them kids, teach them about constructive and not constructive, and then show them gay sex, show them gay sex, lesbian sex, show them trans, all that shit, and say, okay, do that. <laughs> do what they just did, okay? That's what I want you to do, little third grader and kindergartner. Do that, okay? Now, now tell me what comes out of that. Like, nothing? Oh, okay, all right. I guess it's not that constructive then, right? So what the fuck are we talking about? All right, cool. That's next, sick. next topic. Bro, that that's is, sick. That is, I mean, but that's what they want to talk about, right? Like, let's show, show them gay porn. Oh, so you're saying that's what they should do? But show, just take them down. And say, hey, I want to talk to you about gay sex, okay? Here it is. <laughs> and let them sick. kids be fucking they traumatized. Be you want to talk about it so bad? Show them what it is. <laughs> but they might be fucked up in the head, and they start thinking that shit is cool, and now they're in it. That's that. <laughs> that's, that's, like, that's the that thing. It's like. Cool. Okay, and as, as a parent, it's like, I don't even want to talk to my kindergartner or third grader about regular sex. Yeah, what happened like, to the birds like, and bees and shit, bro? Like, this is how your dick gets hard. Yeah, what yeah. if I don't want to tell them about that? I don't want to have that conversation. Some people don't learn about sex until like 15. Like you. Even early, uh, bruh. <laughs> you never had I, the talk. I never had the talk in my <laughs> life, bro. I'm never, and I'm gl- I'm kind of glad and I'm kind of not it's glad. because you're ugly. It's like, we don't need to give them <laughs> no hell talk, no. bro. My, my, my parents are like the type that girls don't even talk about when they're on their period. You just mm. have to deal with them being angry and no reason behind it. You know, and it's like, we didn't, I didn't even know my parents had sex. Like, it was, it was like that type of a fucking life. I was curious, like, do you guys think this type of study should be taught a little bit later, like in high school or not? What is the studies? Because it's like you're in kindergarten to third grade. You don't even have a sexual preference. You shouldn't even know what a sexual preference is. You no, just, no. It, when they you're want in high these school. kids fucking putting on dresses in the fourth <laughs> grade, and they're gonna be like, "Oh shit, you're a girl. To, you're a girl now." <laughs> that shit is crazy. Okay, Jimmy. Well, this is your new identity, and uh, you wore the dress, so Welcome. it is what it is. <laughs> Welcome. Yep. We have we have a classification for you, brother. So like, okay, yeah. but you didn't even learn about sex until you were old like that, right? So now imagine you're at school and you're learning about gay sex. Or, <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, we're just gonna fuck you up. It's like, it's like of all all the issues we have as a nation, like this is the shit we're focused. Like this this is what the kids need to be learning. Other places are gonna pass up our country, bro. Because yeah. motherfuckers at eight, you're gonna be learning about some bullshit that's gonna have y'all thinking about some bullshit. And not focus on what y'all need to be focused on. These are pronouns. They, them, G, G. Come on, motherfucker. You can't assume someone's... Pro- it's interesting how, like, the outlier can become the one kind of run in the show. Like, obviously, you were talking about the philanth- philanth- philanthropic... Phil- That's, That's a difficult word. Sorry, sorry. An- anthropologic. The anthropologic thing in terms of, like, um, uh, what's fuck? Oh, conception and shit, right? Mm-hmm. Guy and girl go off and have a baby. I lost my point. I honestly forgot my word. Sorry. Point, what I was saying. Niggas' words started becoming <laughs> difficult and shit. Yeah, what was I saying though? Dead ass. Anthropological. Uh, guy Love and girl. making. Baby so comes, when it comes out. To the dude. Oh yeah. So obviously, like that as a species is what we're like programmed to do. Mm-hmm. And then we understand other people are different. Their brain is wired differently. They like the same sex. Obviously, anthropologically, not useful to a, a race continuing to grow unless you're adopting, which makes sense because you know, babies need homes. Yeah. But still, as far as reproduction. So that's how we're designed to be. Now, if you have something going on in your head, now we understand, oh, some people are born like that. You're gay. It makes that's total hard. sense. Now, trans, we understand that's another condition in the in the brain where you feel like you should be the opposite sex, sorry, opposite gender and all that. Totally fine. I think, like, I wish that instead of, I wish we got to the point where acceptance of everyone was like, that was the, the point we wanted to get to. Now it's like the opposite. Now it's like... You. Yeah, now it's like, no, no, the kids need to understand this, and they need to see this, and they need to understand all this fluidity, because this is how we live by, and so now everyone needs to be aware. Mm. Why can't people just kind of learn as you go, and and just learn to be accepting of all people, and just know that people are different? But at eight years old, that shit is a random-ass time to be learning that stuff. I wasn't thinking about that shit. Or five. I think back then, I still thought that, I think I might have thought that, uh... No, I don't know if I was thinking about sex at that time. But at one point, I definitely wasn't sure if, if sex was, like, done by, uh, like, sucking dick. I thought that <laughs> might have been what sex was. I wasn't sure. I mean, yeah, you really don't know. Like, there's different Bless stories you. about, Thank like, you. sex happens. You know, you stare at a girl too hard or something or fucking, who knows. You didn't, you didn't know how babies were made. It's just yeah. like, oh, mommy's belly's big. And next thing you know, she pops out something. Yeah, like, like health class was a shock to me. Mm-hmm. You know, like, you always hear, like, different, like, there's always a young motherfucker this who has older vulva. brothers who are, like, showing porn and fucking on the on the school bus. Yeah. You know, there's all, you, you learn, you kind of get bits and pieces. And then once you're in, in the fucking health class, you're like, oh, okay, now you put it all together. That's a good, that's a good point. Yeah. But I don't know, like, shit. 
a lot of parents are not. Well, I would say more foreign parents wouldn't teach their kids about sex. Mm. I'm not saying all of them, but a certain group of them. But yo, come on, like this is a lot to learn from. I I guess like in the sense of like if you're trying to get into the other other perspective is like, okay, these kids need to learn about it at a young age, so they could just have the pronouns right, so we don't have these issues with you getting older and now you don't know the pronouns. I'm just like, yo, that's a lot for a third grader to process. And why is it the school's decision to make that choice? Like, the parents should teach that. I don't even like, think it's the school's decision. It's 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 a political decision. Because bills have to get passed for yeah. you to get education. Hmm. You know, there's a lot of research and scientists that are looking, research they're doing, a lot of uh, experiments with different groups of people. It's it's very who's funding this people who fucking lobby. <laughs> but I'm saying like they're I don't think they're that much of a of an organization to get that much money. Like there has to be some other backing behind this. Like I, I'm this is a rhetorical question. I'm I'm not assuming yeah, the yeah, answer, yeah. but like well, like where is all this money coming from for all these fucking studies about like gender and shit? Like why is this the biggest topic that we're talking about right now? Well, it, I feel like it's a big topic about gender because it's been highly prevalent in these last few, like probably last 10 years. That's that's the big thing. So it's like, OK, now we have a lot of these questions. Let's find some studies for it. So Obviously, people are going to make these studies. Um, I feel like the people who might be funding the bills to get passed are people who got bread and or organizations that got bread and they're just kind of lobbying. You know, they're trying to get, they're paying hella money, making donations, so their bills get passed. Hmm. Cool. So Are you going to teach know. your kids about sex? Huh? Are you going to teach your kids about sex? Like, what age is, is appropriate? Point, what age is appropriate? Uh, Does it make a difference if it's a boy Maybe, or like, middle school, honestly. Hmm. A little. Maybe, like, a light talk in middle school. Mm-hmm. Nah, my guy's gonna be a rock star, bro. I better <laughs> tell him younger than that, bro. I might tell him fifth grade, start just to drop, like, you know what I'm saying? You, Anything going on down there? Little <laughs> I'm just playing. Now, uh, once I realize he's beating his dick. How you going to realize? Because, motherfucker, motherfucker, you never stayed in the shower and you fuck you you just in the fucking shower and you your you're not wet. You come out and you're not wet at all. You're just beating your dick you, you with just, the shower you're just on. Just gonna be outside the shower when your kids shower come out. And be like, oh, you're beating your shit on. <laughs> no, no, that's, that's what Joe Coy said. He was like, yo, my my son, he be in the fucking he turns on the shower and thinks that I'll hear him not in the shower. And then when he comes out, he still smells like shit. Oh, that's like, <laughs> so fuck the Disney employees. End of the day. Yeah, bro. I just feel like that shit is weird. Sorry. Back to that. Back to the actual like niggas walking out. I just wish motherfuckers would get fired. Yeah, I would. I would be Straight firing up. people, bro. I don't like. I don't like this day and age where everyone just feels like they got a voice about it. man. What happened to pink slips? Remember when everyone's getting laid off and shit? Do yeah. that shit back in 08. When that, when we had the big ass, uh, well, Obama probably no, you probably wouldn't have got fired, huh? I said Obama brought in like a lot of the the legislation for the the genders and stuff like that, so you wouldn't have got fired in 08. Yeah. I'm talking about um during the recession though, when yeah. businesses were laying people off left and yeah, right. Yeah, true. That's what I'm saying, bro. Motherfuckers be maybe, too comfortable in the job. Maybe they're also like walking out is because they probably have some projects that are probably gonna have gender influxes. They have a movie coming out where they show a lesbian kiss on screen. And they're gonna air it. And it's a Disney movie. Yeah, they're, that's they're being, probably like, another big reason. It's, so like, it's like they're no forcing one cares about a lesbian kiss. <laughs> okay, but it, <laughs> well, it's still yeah. No, you. It's you gonna make come it, it opens a it opens an uncomfortable conversation for parents that might not want to have that conversation. They need to get the men in there smooching if they really want to make a splash. Oh, hundred percent. Don't nobody give a fuck about no girls Hilarious. smooching. You got to be like Lil Nas X and BT. <laughs> <laughs> if man. they want to really make a mark, stir up some noise, you get two two motherfuckers on there smooching. Don't Smacking, even, just just the sounds, just hung and everything. Yeah. <laughs> 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 he, one of them got to have a beard, you know. 